Guys, today we're going to talk about why do fish eat topwaters in the morning? This is a question that I know a lot of people probably make. They're like, well, why is it? Like, why do you got to wake up early in the summertime and throw a topwater? Simple answer is they just like to eat more in the morning. I mean, that's just when they like to eat. You know, we like to eat a big breakfast in the morning, but there's a little bit more to it, and we'll break it down here for you. To break it down for you, what we're doing today, me and my buddy Davey, we texted each other last night. We said, man, let's, let's go topwater fishing in the morning. So we, we got on Google Maps. We found a little creek on Old Country Road. We said, man, let's start out that bridge and let's just kind of wait around, see if we can get bit early in the morning. All I'm doing is I've got a little teeny pop R here. It's the smallest size pop R, a little light rod and some six pound line. Why fish like to eat a topwater in the early mornings in the summertime is, well, in the summertime, as you know, it's super hot water, but in the morning time, water cools down a little bit, fish get more aggressive. Minnows, other bait fish, they start to move towards the top of the water and that's just how bass are gonna, you know, they start noticing those minnows going up to the top of the water and they'll jump up there and get them. That's how they actually attack them. So that makes it really easy to grab something like this Rebel Teeny Pop R, cast it out there and get bites. Get in here, get in here, buddy. Little bass. Come on. That's awesome. Little spotted bass. He won that teeny pop R. How you work this teeny pop R, it's pretty simple. You just cast it out, get it close to the other side of the bank as you possibly can. Let it sit there for a second, let those rings kind of get away from it. Then you just get little slight pops. Just pop your rod to the right or left, you know, whichever hand you are. Just kind of pop it, let it wait a second, pop it. It drives these bass nuts. Get in here, buddy. Now that one we just threw right up against the side of the bank. He came out of those overhanging limbs. What do we got here? Smallmouth. Man, you can't beat that with a stick. Number one tip, be in the shade. You want to fish in the shade. That's gonna be, it's harder for the bass to see in the shade, harder for them to recognize that top water bait working over the top of them. And they're gonna bite more often. I mean, look for pieces of wood. We talked about it earlier. Look for pieces of wood jutting in the water, big rocks, anything that's a little bit different. You won't want to just be fishing in just the open water because that's not where fish are gonna be. They're gonna be positioned against something that gives them a little bit of cover. Come here, get in here. What are you? Smallmouth. Well guys, that just about does it. You want to catch topwater fish in the summertime. Wake up extra early, head down to a creek with some deep water in it, grab you a little tiny topwater. You can catch some fish and have a good time.